Trooper Matcha here. This is your CCC update for December 26, 2022. That's Cooper's Critter Crew. <laughs> it's the last update for the year 2022. Can you believe that? My, how time flies. All our critter friends in the UK wanted me to convey Merry Christmas wishes to everyone, and they hope everyone had a good holiday. They had a wonderful weekend, starting with going around the local community, singing Christmas carols, and trying to bring joy to the neighbors' lives. They feel extremely lucky to have friends to share the holiday with, and they wanted to share their good fortune. Matilda, of course, made a huge Christmas feast, and all their friends joined in. They had party games and with lots of fun and laughter. Nelson arranged a treasure hunt where clues are hidden around the garden and there was a prize for the winner. They played musical chairs and pinned the tail on the squirrel. <laughs> that always causes a laugh. They planned races for today, which is their boxing day, the 26th of December. So the usual crowd will be there, weather permitting, of course. Boxing day, according to tradition, is the first weekday after Christmas which is now a national holiday in the UK. In history, dating back to the 17th century, it was the day where servants, etc., received a Christmas box in appreciation for their work, and they used to work on Christmas Day. The employers would give each servant a box to, make, to take home containing gifts, bonuses, and sometimes leftover food. Until the late 20th century, there continued to be a tradition among many in the UK to give a Christmas gift, usually cash, to vendors, although not on Boxing Day, as many would not be at work that day. Meanwhile, back in the US of A, Earl the Squirrel ordered a pair of diamond stud earrings for his good friend Susie the Squirrel, and they arrived and they are beautiful. It was my suggestion because I know that girls like these things, and Earl can afford it, let's face it. Susie was so thrilled and surprised, she simply glowed with delight. Even though the stock market has had a horrible year, Earl has plenty of money squirreled away. <laughs> Get it? Squirreled away? <laughs> we all know how generous he is, though. Earl got a call on Christmas Eve from the big man Claus himself, Seems he was overloaded with deliveries because of the storm, so he asked Earl to deliver packages down the chimneys of Shelburne residence. Burl guided the drone sleigh with his dark little nose, aided by a flashlight. They feasted on milk and cookies, and seeds and nuts were also provided by my mom. We've had some crazy Vermont weather lately, but not quite as crazy as the rest of the country. L and L, that's Lenny and Lucy have been misbehaving because the wind makes them crazy, and we've had a lot of wind. Sometimes I wonder if crazy is just their default state. <laughs> we did not get to the races this weekend because we were busy with the holiday, but we'll get back to that next week. Earl is very tired from droning presents all over the place. He returned home covered in chimney soot and stated he does not know how Santa does it, year after year. As we approach the new year, please be kind to everyone every day of the year. I hope you all had a, who celebrate Christmas had a great Christmas full of peace and love. Now go forth and be kind. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.